Thanks for checking out this video. If you're thinking about a high cash value whole life policy, you're probably wondering what next steps you need to take in order to move forward. And this can be very confusing. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about five key action steps that you need to take in order to make sure you're prepared to make the best decision on the policy that meets your goals. All right, so let's jump in. Step one, you're gonna to wanna to identify your goals. This is really important because there are a lot of different goals that somebody can have for a high cash value whole life policy. For example, your goal might be cash value accumulation. You might be an investor that wants to fund your own business, wants to implement a strategy like infinite banking. You might be wanting to pursue other strategies like retirement planning, college funding. So these are all under establishing your goals. You also might be interested in legacy planning, which pertains to having a death benefit, take care of kids and grandkids. There might be a combination of things that you wanna do, but you may wanna prioritize what is most important in terms of these goals. Number two, you wanna connect with an experienced professional. We call our professionals pro-client guides. This is a long-term coaching relationship. And the reason that you need this is because this is not something that an average insurance agent is gonna know how to do. They're not gonna understand the asset that we're talking about much less being able to design it strategically to meet the goals that we just talked about. So a pro-client guide coach relationship is essential in starting that relationship. Number three, you're gonna to wanna to get at least a basic understanding of how this contractual asset works. One way to do this is just to look at what we call an illustration. Basically, there are some things on this illustration you need to be aware of. You're looking at both non-guaranteed and guaranteed sides of the equation. You can see those. When you look at that, there's a few things that, that you need to understand. Your base premium is gonna jump out on the left-hand side and that's gonna be basically your minimum on the policy. That's covering death benefit. You're also gonna see something called PUA, which you're seeing there on the guaranteed side, and that's paid up additions. That's additional cash, and there's flexibility to that in the policy, so you wanna understand how much you're putting in in terms of PUA. In this particular example, there's also something called flexible protection, which is basically a term blend. So we blend some term into the policy in order to help get the death benefit up depending on how much cash value you want to be adding to the policy. All right, so on the guaranteed side, those are hard numbers. That's the cash that's going to be in the account. On the non-guaranteed, that's going to include dividends, which are not guaranteed, but typically are backed by 100 plus year history. And so pay attention to the right side when it comes to dividends, and you're going to see that additional growth. On both sides of the equation, you're going to see the death benefit, which is an increasing death benefit. Uh, for this type of policy, that's really an important point because there are some myths about that. Number four, you're going to want to look at talking to your pro-client guide when you're making a choice of company. So in addition to understanding your goals, in addition to looking at understanding how the policy works, you're going to pick a company based on those goals because different companies are going to be more or less favorable depending on your goals. For example, if you want to put lump sums into a policy, some companies are going to be more favorable than others and allow for more. If you want early cash value growth. Some companies are going to be more favorable for early cash value growth. So if you're an investor, infinite banking, year one, cash, that kind of thing, then some companies are going to work better. If you're looking more at legacy planning, growth down the road, another company might be a better choice. Point being, you need your expert to help you determine what company makes the most sense for you. We better companies on an annual basis. Finally, number five, you need to apply. People get skittish about applying. The thing to know is you're not committing when you apply. You basically just apply to see what your health rating is, what you qualify for in terms of death benefit, and kind of nail down the particulars before you make a final decision. We we'll always encourage people, look at your own numbers. Wherever you're watching, there's gonna be a calendar link below. You can schedule a one-to-one, -one, have, you, have your own numbers looked at, look at options, take these steps, encourage you to get started. Thanks for watching.